All right, moving right along here in Algebra 1, uh, looking at the next section in 2.5, literal equations and formulas. Um, our essential question, how can you rewrite a literal equation? We're going to rewrite them using the exact same rules that we've been using as far as um, solving equations, solving for x, solving for y, solving for t, whatever our variable happens to be. The issue comes in that, or I think a lot of people get confused, is when we start dealing with formulas, uh, or, or equations that have more than one variable in it, uh, we get stuck as to how to treat that. You know, if it was a number, we know what to do. When it's a letter, we get all shook up and we're not, well, what do I do with this? Uh, we're going to treat it just like we would our numbers. Uh, just keep this in the back of your mind. You can only combine like terms. And I'll come back to that as we solve these. So, what is a literal equation? It's an equation with two or more variables. Um, Solve without getting a numerical answer. That's what I was talking about. We're going to have letters in there. So we might be manipulating a, a, a formula uh, where we might want to solve for the width when we're talking about perimeter and things like that. So we don't get a numerical answer. We're just trying to manipulate a formula. Fahrenheit and Celsius, uh, different things like that. Uh, just remember, solve for x like we have been. Realize you cannot combine like terms that are not, you know, can't combine terms that aren't alike. Like here, if we had a simple equation like this, and this would be a literal equation because there's more than one variable, there's all kinds of letters, ax plus b equals c. If we wanted to solve this for x, remember your rules. We always try to get rid of addition and subtraction first. I find my x, there's a plus b, so subtract b, okay? Now you can't actually subtract b from c, so we just write it out, c minus b, just like we have right here. Okay, we're signifying what we want to do. If we had numbers, we can plug them in and get a number, but we don't. So just write it as C minus B. Nothing wrong with that. Then I've got a multiplication problem, so I undo it, undo it by dividing both sides. There's my answer. Okay, seems to throw people for a loop because there's no numbers. Don't worry about it. We did it the same. We just actually couldn't get down to a numerical answer because we don't have any numbers. All right, let's take a look at a couple more examples. All right, we want to solve for x again. We have negative t equals r plus px, okay? Just like what we did uh, the last two weeks. If I want to solve for x, first thing I'm going to look for, is there anything added or subtracted to it? Yeah, we got r added to it. If I'm going to do the opposite, I'm going to subtract r. Now, you can't actually combine a negative t minus r, but I can write negative t minus r. Nothing wrong with doing that. That's what we want to do. There's just no number, so we can't do it. Then I've got a multiplication problem. So I undo that by dividing. Got to do it over the whole thing. So the p's cancel on the right, and I'm left with negative t minus, whoops, minus r all over p. Nothing wrong with that. Okay? Follow the exact same rules that we've been doing, solving two step equations. Okay, here's a formula that might look familiar to you. Perimeter, okay, twice the length plus twice the width. If we want to solve this for W, what do we do? Okay, first thing we want to do is, like we've been talking about all along, is there any addition and subtraction to our W? Yeah, we have a plus or a positive uh, 2L. So I'm going to subtract 2L, and I'm going to subtract it from both sides. So now I get P minus 2L. Cancels here, left with 2w, 2 times w, multiplication problem. We undo that by dividing. The 2's cancel out on the right. We're left with p minus 2l all over 2 equals w. Okay? Solving literal equations using the exact same rules we've been using for two step equations and, and the like. And, don't be thrown off just because there's letters in there. Okay, We're not going to get a numerical answer yet until they give us some numbers to plug in. But they're all literal equations because you have more than one variable. We pick out which one you want to solve for and then treat everything else as if it was a number, but you can't actually combine because they're not like terms. So you just write it out okay, until you get to, the, to your answer at the end. We'll look at a lot more of this in class uh, tomorrow uh, and a little application of it. 
because uh, so, this applies to all different formulas, whether you're talking about circumference of circles, perimeters, areas, uh, surface, a anything like that, volumes, okay? We can manipulate a formula to solve for any particular uh, dimension that we want. Okay, so we'll see more of that tomorrow. All right, you guys have a good one. See you then.